Hey, hey, I'm Siobhan, community cultivator and founder of Be Free Project. The Be Free Project podcast was created for community, sisterhood, and personal growth. Each week, you'll be inspired and motivated to do the work to show up for yourself so you too can feel fulfilled and be free. Now grab a pen and a notebook and let's get into the show. The best decision that you can make today is joining the Be Free Inner Circle at BeFreeInnerCircle.com, a community for like-minded women to find their forever friends and get accountability to do their personal growth work. Your membership includes a private, exclusive community of women who are not only showing up for themselves, but for one another. Weekly live events with me and or guest speakers, daily accountability so this way you can finally get stuff done, mentorship from yours truly, and so much more. Now, there's no long-term commitment and you can cancel at any time. However, I can guarantee the moment you join, you're going to feel a warm embrace and you're going to want to stick around. Every single member of the Be Free Inner Circle will walk away with clarity, fulfillment, and confidence because guess what? When you're around me, you're going to win. So come and grow inside the Be Free Inner Circle at BeFreeInnerCircle.com. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the podcast. I am always delighted to be in your ears once again. All right, this week I am going to share a book with you, which is Acts of Faith by Ayana Venzant. I probably shared this book on the podcast before. However, for the first time ever, I am reading the book every single day. And what I mean is daily passages that are dated for every day of the year. And I'm actually reading the book with one of my great friends. So we read the passage every day and then we share our thoughts with one another via voice note. And I've had the book since 1999, believe it or not. And I recently bought an updated copy of it and I've really been enjoying it. Like the passages and the messages are truly life changing. Ayana does such a great job at giving instruction on how to live your best life. So I highly recommend that you read it. Occasionally I'll share the passages in my IG stories. I'm going to link to the book in my show notes so you can take a look. And actually any book that I ever refer on the podcast, you'll be able to find it in my Amazon shop. So just make sure you look for the link. All right. So today's topic is how to manage long distance friendships. And this question was asked during one of my IG lives. And I thought it would make a great topic for a podcast because I have many long distance friendships and I have a lot of insight that I can share as it relates to managing these friendships. So I have a small friend group circle and my friends live in many different states. So of course there's several friends that live here in Ohio with me, but then I have friends that are in Chicago, Atlanta, Florida, New Jersey, and I manage to stay connected with all of them in different ways. And I will say when it comes to managing long distance friendships, communication is extremely important for us. Whether you're communicating on the daily, the weekly, every other week, staying connected with your friends is truly, truly important. And that helps with, you know, loneliness and feeling isolated. Like you definitely want to stay connected. And I'm going to share some practical things that you can put in place so that you can begin to manage your long distance friendships. I will say that they are possible. They're very healthy. In fact, in the Be Free Inner Circle, there are women all over the U.S. that are a part of the community, and I'm excited to welcome in women from other countries, and they are building amazing friendships. And what I love about that is there's several women who have become pen pals, and there's women who have become accountability partners. There's some members who have visited in other states and connected and went to dinner and things like that. So it is possible to have friends in other states. And I, I know it because personally I'm experiencing it, but also inside the be free inner circle where you find your forever friends and you get accountability with doing the personal growth work. 
friendships are being had every day. I mean, they're even buying each other gifts. They're, they're having, they're supporting one another's businesses. It is amazing. You definitely want to come grow with us so you too can begin to find your forever friends. And you can do that at BeFreeInnerCircle.com. All right, so let me share some practical things on how you manage long distance friendships, okay? The first thing you wanna do is to get something on the calendar. Create a standing time where you and your friends connect. That can be via Zoom or FaceTime or even if you just wanna pick up the phone and call. But make sure you have something scheduled on your calendar that you know this is a time we're gonna connect. So for example, I have a group of friends and we have this on our calendar where every fourth Thursday we do a Zoom or FaceTime with one another just to catch up. Now the same group of friends, we went to Tulum a couple of months ago and we said we didn't want to wait to connect as a group until the next girls trip. So let's connect at least once a month as a collective and check in with each other. And that has been such a beautiful thing that has really been healthy for our friendship. Let me point out, and I've said this on many other episodes, in order for friendships to work and for them to grow and for them to be healthy, you have to make them a priority and you have to let your friends know that they mean something to you. And so doing something as simple as adding them on your calendar and staying committed to that is truly important when you and your friend live in two different states or maybe two different countries. Okay. And then another thing that I want to point out is that you want to find the best time that will work for both of you. So again, for me and my friends, every fourth Thursday works and it's on our calendar for you. Maybe it's when you drive into work and you have time to chat during your commute, or maybe it's later in the evening. Once you put the kids down for bed, make sure it's the time that's going to work out for both of you because you're more likely to stay committed to it. Number two, Remember important moments and dates in your friends' lives, whether it's their birthday, anniversary, monumental moments in their business. Keep track of what's important to them. So then that way you can check in and say, hey girl, happy birthday or happy anniversary, whatever milestone they may be hitting. You want to just stay up to date with that. And I recommend keeping a notebook and just jotting down a few things or maybe use your note apps on your phone to just keep track. And trust me, it will mean the world to your friend if you show that you care by remembering moments that are important to her, okay? Number three, don't rely on social media to stay connected with your friends. Do not do that. If you have your friend's number, and I'm gonna assume that you do because you're friends, text her, call her, FaceTime her. Don't just think, oh, because she posted this on social, you know everything that's going on. Nine times out of 10, you don't. Real friends check in with one another. Real friends call one another. Real friends communicate with one another, not just on social media, okay? Number four, choose a favorite TV show that y'all can watch together and discuss it. So maybe you watch it first and then you schedule a call to chat about it, but whatever you both like and that you both enjoy, Watch it and then have a conversation about it. Number five, if you're like me, you will love this. Have a book club. So me and one of my great friends, I shared this before, we have a book club where every Sunday we discuss the book that we're reading. And it's so good because we both love reading. We both love books. We both love personal growth and all of that. So it has been such a beautiful moment in our friendship that we get to discuss books together and really have a good time. Number six, plan an annual or quarterly trip to connect in real life, right? So I know we're in a pandemic and I know everything that's happening, but if you're like me, you don't mind catching a flight somewhere, do that, right? Plan a girl's trip this year, maybe a road trip, something that you can do together to be connected in real life in person. Number seven, send your friend positive quotes and uplifting texts and voice notes. Listen, any positive message will uplift anyone's day. So do that and I'm sure your friend will appreciate it. Number eight, and this is very important and I see it happen all the time. Do not get jealous or in your feelings if you see your friend hanging out with other friends in real life. You live in two different states and 
That doesn't mean anything if she's hanging out with someone else and you feel some kind of way. We all have many different friends and each friend serves different needs. Don't get jealous. Don't let that create tension and friction in your friendship. Communicate how you feel and make sure that you stay connected by doing some of the things that I'm sharing with you today. Number nine, build a great foundation in your friendship. So several episodes ago, I talked about three things that every friendship needs and it came from the book Friendtimacy and that is consistency, vulnerability, and positivity. When you have that as a foundation, your friendship will be amazing. I'm speaking that from experience that I have friends, that we have all three pieces and Honestly, our friendship is like we live in some type of magical universe. Like it's so easy. It's so refreshing. It feels like home. It just feels so good. And it's because we have built such a great foundation with a, with consistency, vulnerability, and positivity. And finally, number 10, avoid canceling and rescheduling anything that you have on your calendar with your friend. You go... You want to designate time for one another and unless it's an absolute emergency, make sure you show up because your friend needs to know that you're committed to the friendship and that you are prioritizing it in your life. I hope these were helpful as it relates to managing long distance friendships. Again, many of my friendships are long distance and yet we are closer than ever. So you can be friends with people anywhere in the world. So don't let that stop you, but make sure you're showing up and you're doing your part. Okay. Your journal prompt for this week is, do you think you're a good friend to others? Why or why not? Your affirmation is, it's okay for me to take up space. Don't forget every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can find me on Instagram Live talking all things friendship and personal growth. Make sure you set a reminder in your calendar. I would love for you to share this episode with a friend that you care about. Snap a picture, share it in your IG stories or on your feed and tag me. Tell your friend like, hey girl, hey, you got to subscribe to this podcast please leave me a five-star review, a sentence or two, letting me know what you thought of the episode. As always, if this episode and my podcast in general has added any value to your life, treat me to a cup of coffee. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, girl, be free. Hi, this is Sharice from Spring, Texas, which is northeast of Houston, Texas. I joined the Be Free Inner Circle because I wanted to be around like-minded women who are serious about doing the work of improving their lives, whether it's their personal lives, their in their careers, or in their businesses. I want to be around women who are serious about doing the work and improving, and also uh, encouraging the women around them to do better and be better. What I love most about the Be Free Inner Circle is that it's a judge-free zone. I am free and encouraged to be my most vulnerable self, good and bad. And Siobhan uh, is such a great leader in helping me to dig deep and encourage me to keep doing the work so that I can keep improving in my personal life, in my professional life, and just overall become the best version of me. 